Let's now take a look at the instrument panel and the master display. With the ignition on, the vehicle will do its self-checks and this takes approximately two seconds. Here you have the speedo and at the bottom you have any speed related driving features which are activated such as cruise control, downhill speed control or the speed limiter, fuel and add blue gauge and engine temperature. You have the rev counter and at the bottom gear selection, manual or auto and on the manual models this is also where gear change prompting will be shown. Moving across, you have the natural mapping where all active warnings will be highlighted to you and additional vehicle information such as fog lights on and hill start aid active. Programmable body application warnings and information lights are also shown in this area which are primarily blue. Moving up to the master display, a very informative and interactive system. To display, simply press the menu control switch once and you'll see the menu. Scrolling the button to the left or the right will highlight the various menu selections. Let's firstly take a look at the oil. The vehicle information is highlighted, so press the button once. Scrolling to the right, we're going to highlight oil level. This is highlighted, so we're going to press the button again and here you can see clearly marked the minimum and maximum levels. If the current level is unavailable due to certain parameters not being met, then the last reading displayed along with the mileage will be shown. To exit this selection, press the return button once to jump up one level or press and hold for a count of two to exit the menu completely.